Each year we're hosting at least one analog camp, which is basically a community event around the German podcast ISO 400, which I'm hosting together with my good friend Arthur. We already visited the Black Forest and a really famous spot in Switzerland, which is called the Saxa Lücke before, and it was just awesome. At the first one in the Black Forest, we experienced this incredible sunrise while paddling our canoes on a lake. Fortunately, no one tipped over and drowned their equipment. The second camp on top of that famous mountain ridge where my Mamiya RC67 gave up on me to make me miss the most beautiful light of the day, which only lasted for about two minutes. Nonetheless, two incredible trips with an incredible community. And that's the most important thing. That's why we hosted another one a few weeks ago during the end of April near Cologne here in Germany. Me and the whole gang were incredibly thrilled to get support by two incredible companies. So we got stuck up with a huge surprise box film from Old Camp Shop. So some of you may already know that Dave, the owner of Old Camp Shop, already supports me. And now he was kind enough to deliver some real goodies for the community. On top of that, our friend Toby, who runs the German local lab, Urban Film Lab, provided us with some free development and scans of two rolls each, which was just incredible. Nothing better than those crispy medium format scans. With that being said, hi and welcome you guys to this new video on the channel. A small recap of those few days we spent together at some incredible locations. Hope you enjoy the video. It's almost like you hung out with us. Some of us were more prepared than others. At first evening we were more into getting to know each other and lose ourselves in nerdy camera talk, but of course we were already blasting through some roads. Six. And searching for the perfect comp. On the first full day, we headed out to this cute little village called Monschau. But at first, we were absolutely drawn to these windmills on our way that disappeared in the fog. So we faced quite some situations where I slammed on the brakes to get out and photograph them. After roaming around the city, we found this path leading uphill, where we were able to overlook the whole city. I absolutely fell in love with those half-timbered houses, which give the city, in combination with the foggy and rainy weather conditions, a really moody vibe.
course, you probably know me by now, I'm mostly drawn to landscape and some kind of travel photography. But I was heavily inspired recently by one of the most influential photographers we got nowadays, Mr. Joe Greer. I attended a workshop of him which luckily took place pretty near from where I live and where he told us that photography should be a highway where you're able to comfortably change lanes. So I tried myself on some street photography, which turned out pretty bad. <laughs> Mostly because I quite often misjudged focus by zone focusing with my Leica. So don't be too harsh with me about those pictures, I definitely want to improve that skill in the future. After a pretty short night, we headed out to our destination at about 4 a.m. We hoped for nice conditions at the Moselschleife, which is basically a river that turns in a loop and just looks absolutely beautiful. But take a look yourself. On that weekend I took a lot of photographs. Six rolls of 35mm and four rolls of medium format. But this picture is probably my most favorite one. I really love how the colors turned out, how Arthur's yellow jacket harmonizes with the creamy and hazy background and how it represents this feeling of wanderlust. Those moments were just insane, with the sun breaking through the clouds from the left. It created such a nice atmosphere, but we weren't alone, even a digital and defiltered dude was hanging around. As you can probably tell by now, space was limited up there, so we had to swap positions from time to time. Another downside of being that narrowed is that we didn't have the chance to get creative in our compositions. The shots we got there were gorgeous, but obviously looked all pretty similar. <laughs> yeah. But nonetheless, look at that sky. While everyone was rushing back to the cars to get the first cup of coffee on that morning, I was staying a little behind. And the forest rewarded me with this one. Light rays were on point. Next one was a drive to a nearby city called Kochem, where I was able to flex my street photography out of focus muscles again. I have another second one. That one I had to get the kennt you. Okay. 
I'm really surprised how this one turned out. Initially I hesitated to pull the trigger on that one, but I luckily decided otherwise. I love the simplicity of the whole scene with just those few people with the dog on an otherwise empty parking lot. Potter 400 pushed by two stops worked really well as well. Puzzles are hitting hard. The more I'm looking at this picture, the more I got drawn into it, because I'm trying to discover all the little details. Maybe that's part of the joy in street photography. Last location of this animal camp. A really famous suspension bridge not too far from where we stayed. For all my English speaking viewers, try getting this right on the first try. Geierlei Hängeseilbrücke. We parked our cars and took the longest of all paths to get there. Fortunately, the area was paved with windmills, which are always good for a shot in combination with those flowering canola fields. Initially, we thought this would be a good idea, but the place was just crowded as hell. Too many people that wanted to get over the bridge and stopped for an eternity to take the same pictures with their phones over and over again. Zero out of five stars. I can imagine that this place can be quite nice at sunrise or sunset, eventually with some fog in the valley with almost no people, but that was rather disappointing. Luckily, there were a lot of other camps to be found along the way back. With some long exposures I took on the last evening, I want to close this video for this week. I hope you liked it and you're eventually going to join our next analog camp. Till then, peace.